Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Non-Muslims ask me what's this mean? Before I tell them I practice my deen, worship one Lord, believe in the unseen. La ilaha illallah. That's the beginning of my kalima. I remember before I reverted, I felt so alone and I felt so deserted. Had a pain in my heart and it kind of hurted, till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he inserted. My guidance to Islam through the sound of the yazan, it was like an alarm and now I fast in Ramadan. So if you knew how I was back in the day, you'd say, no way, this guy wouldn't pray. But alhamdulillah, I came a long way. And if it wasn't for Islam, then I would have been astray. Now I get people who laugh and say that I'm daft. But what they don't realize is I'm on a straight path. And they have felt the feeling when you're praying on a saf. Plus, I don't want to earn the anger of Allah's wrath. To follow the sunnah and the teachings of the prophet is the only way to heaven and I haven't forgot it. I try my best for my deen and inshallah I won't stop it. But mention Islam to a brother and he changes the topic. He's more like MC Chippy in the back of my car. I reply, stuck for Allah, brother, that's good now. <laughs> Living my old life won't get you far. The only way forward is to worship Allah. Because Islam is the way and the only way. Now it's off to the masjid, it's time to pray. Make sure you do it five times a day to stop the shaitan from getting in your way. Try to avoid things which are haram. The haram for a reason because they're doing harm. We need our iman to be our imam, to spread the knowledge and the message of Islam. Because Islam is my religion, so please will you listen? It was my own decision, now I'm crying with submission. Whether you're an Asian, black or Caucasian, it doesn't matter about your nation, no frustration in frustration. Being a Muslim is my fate. I'm glad it happened, could have been too late. Allahu Akbar, Allah's great. With all his might, he did create. The world we live in today. Our bodies so we can pray. Our mouth so we can say, Allahumma salli alayh. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at 40 received prophethood. His own neighbors used to disrespect him for stones and loads of mud. He still had a smile on his face. But covered head to toe in blood. He used to give dawah through character, like a true Muslim should. And these sisters walk around like they're doing the right thing, with big scarves on their head looking like something are sleeping, wearing tight clothes to make them look thin. But what they don't realize is they're committing sin. They may feel I'm being mean, but this ain't part of Deen. But what is part of Deen? It's Sarat al Mustaqim. We've got sisters smoking shisha. And brother smoking the reefer. These same people are stood boycotting McDonald's wanting to bring a Khalifa. So brothers, just appreciate what you have in life. And remember Allah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah.